Are the rumors true? Help us. I'm afraid so, Professor. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. You know Hagrid. I know you do. I'm not sure I'm exactly the right person to tell you that, Harry. Dobby has come to tell you. It is difficult, sir. Dobby wonders where to begin. Ah! I shouldn't have said that. Who told you? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone. And the Hogwarts about that. Might have let your best friend know, though. Let you know what? You know bloody well what. Come on, come on, get out of bed. Why? There's something you've got to see. Now, come on. So, so is it true? <gasps> what? Hermione, she doesn't know. Harry, no way. It's perfectly simple. You're no, being... it's not. Hermione, whatever this is, it's not simple. Now, you listen to me, all three of you. You're meddling in things that ought not to be meddled in. It's dangerous. Who's that? Malfoy. Oh, dear. That's crazy. Worse, Malfoy knows. I don't understand. Is that bad? It's bad. Good evening. I don't know how you three found out. Now, would you go back to your dormitories? Quietly. Excuse me, Professor. Perhaps I heard you wrong. No, you heard me correctly, Mr. Malfoy. I want my father to hear about this! I don't give a damn what your father thinks, Malfoy. No. He's vile and cruel. And you're pathetic. No, Neville, listen. We would... No! The Daily Prophet's been saying a lot of things about you, Harry. And about Dumbledore as well. What, and your mum believes them? Well... Oh, well, I guess you should read The Prophet, then, like your stupid mother. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Don't you dare talk about my mother like I'll that. I'll have a go at anyone that calls me a liar. Listen. Listen. Terrible things are about to happen at Hogwarts. This can't go on, Albus. This is an order of suspension. If the governors desire my removal, I will, of course, step aside. You can't go now. It is likely the school will be closed. What's it mean? Magic is forbidden in the corridor. It means the ministry is interfering at Hogwarts. I suppose Dumbledore is trying to hush it all up. Father always said that Dumbledore was the worst thing that ever happened to this place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. This is a lie. It's not a lie. I saw it. Detention, Mr. Potter. You've got to tell Dumbledore. No. Dumbledore's got enough on his mind right now. Anyway, I don't want to give Umbridge the satisfaction. Bloody hell, Harry. The woman's torturing you. So... You all know why we're here. It's true. So he says. So Dumbledore says. So Dumbledore says because he says. The point is, where's the proof? So if that's why you're here, you might as well clear out now. Come on, Hermione, let's go. Let's... Wait. I've seen it. You don't know what that's like. You're right, Harry, we don't. That's why we need your help. Albus Dumbledore is the greatest sorcerer in the world. Dumbledore's been driven out of this castle. He'll never be gone. Not as long as those who remain are loyal to him. He sounds like a dirty, rotten snitch to me. What do we do? We'll have to use the flu network. Alert the order if you can. Are you mental? We're going with you. It's too dangerous. When are you going to get into your head? We're in this together. That you are. You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? No. 
What are you doing? Improvising. Do something! Tell them I mean no harm! I'm sorry, Professor. I must not tell lies. What are you doing? I am senior under secretary to Nora Jane Humphrey. Let me go! Anyway, at least we know one positive thing that came from today. Harry. First, I want to thank you, Harry. You must have shown me real loyalty. It's a complete secret. So, naturally, the whole school knows. What is it? Love, Harry. Love. Out of my way, Potter. So, it's true. You have returned. So fit to summon me back. I instructed Harry to form this organization, and I, and I alone, am responsible for its activity. You will find that help will always be given at Hogwarts to those who ask for it. Ridiculous. I beg your pardon. Well, let us hope that Mr. Potter will always be around to save the day. Don't worry. I will be. Well, we had loads of help from you. We couldn't have done it without you. Thanks. Could I have your attention, please? Before we begin the feast, let us have a round of applause for... Hermione Granger. Ronald Weasley. Harry Potter. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. Also, in light of the recent events, as a school treat, all exams have been cancelled. <laughs>